everyone. This is Raymond here from Canada Consulting. Today, this video, I'm going to explain about uh, what is scalability. Okay, what we do is here is like that. Okay, assuming let's say you're running a traditional company and want to expand your business, what do you do? For example, let's just pick a simple example. Let's say I run a restaurant. I want to open one restaurant, two restaurant, three restaurant, four restaurant, five restaurant, and six restaurant. Okay. And we use these tokens as money, okay? So when we set up a restaurant, what we need is the, we need money to pay for the renovation and maybe have some uh, six months of uh, working capital for the staff, okay? So let's just say every restaurant requires two tokens, okay? We, we, I mean, you may just consider two tokens as 200,000 or $2 million. I mean, of course, for a restaurant in Singapore, it's more likely to be $2 million. Okay, let's just say we need two tokens. Okay, two tokens to start at one restaurant, two more to start the next one, two more to start the next one, two more to start the next one, and two more to start the next one, and two more to start the next one. Okay, what we have here is a very traditional model of running a business and Unfortunately, this is regarded by capitalists as a non-scalable business model, okay? Because it requires money to expand. Of course, I mean, some of the audience may say, uh, well, I mean, business has been like that for a long time. But the thing is that recently, of course, with a lot of changes in technology, the expansion model may not be as such, okay? So what you see in a traditional model of expanding a business, like requiring money every time you open the restaurant, or requiring money every time you uh, buy a new taxi for a new taxi company, is always the same. You, you need money, okay? Without the money, you cannot expand. But um, under the present investment, uh, the, um, under the investment climate, uh, we don't regard this as a, as a, as a scalable business. It doesn't mean the investor will not invest in this, it's just that it's not so favorable. I mean, uh, this kind of investment is a bit uh, ill-structured. Okay, based on what you can do now. Okay, let's just uh, take back all the money first. Okay, let's just consider uh, what would be different for a scalable business model. Okay, what is an example of a scalable business model? Some of the, the notable examples are Facebook, uh, Amazon, Alibaba, Uber, and what is the unique feature? For example, okay, now, for example, for Uber, when I want to expand my uh, my team, um, okay, so this is one taxi, one car, two car, and I ask you one more time, okay, for Uber to get one more taxi or one more uh, car to be on his team, does Uber need to buy this car? No, okay. So it doesn't really require to spend money, okay? But at the same time, it allowed to increase his team and increase in business without spending much money, okay? I mean, this is the same for uh, Facebook, you know? Uh, if there's a new user signing on to a new account, does Facebook need to spend any money at all? The answer is no. Uh, if Alibaba get a new merchant account, get a new customer account, but do they need to spend money at all? The answer is no. And uh, for any of the uh, scalable business model, if they would expand their business, do they really require a lot of working capital to, to start up their business or to expand to another country? The answer is no. Okay, so so that means in other words, uh, let's look at the uh, Uber. Let, let, let's, let's say every Uber car, Let's say maybe at the end of every year, uh, every at the end of every year, uh, uh, maybe maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe every car give Uber an um, income of maybe thirty thousand a year. Okay, so let's just imagine that this token is uh, three token. This token is thirty thousand. So uh, this car earn thirty thousand for Uber per year, right? So okay, okay. So so does it spend any money? It doesn't spend any money to earn the thirty thousand. He didn't spend any money to earn the thirty thousand. He didn't spend any money to earn thirty thousand. He didn't spend any money to earn the thirty thousand. He didn't spend any money to earn the thirty thousand. 
he didn't spend any money to earn the thirty thousand. Okay, some of you guys may say that uh, why is Uber you know spending so much money? The, the reason is very simple because all the thirty thousand they uh, they take all this money and dump it to marketing again and they fight with. Uh, I mean, of course, before they were out in DT, they were spending all the money to fight with you. That's why uh, they lost money. Okay, but having said that, huh? having said that, uh, it doesn't mean that. Uh, you see, although Uber is losing a lot of money, uh, be, it is ve its very nature being a scalable business model will still invite and attract certain investor. Okay, um, if you're running a restaurant, even if you are profitable from day one, may not. Okay, why? Because it's not scalable. Okay, and uh, okay today, probably that's all for now for uh, my my video on scalability. But stay tuned for more videos on uh, corporate finance. Okay. Thank you very much. And I wish you have a good day. Thank you.